So remember on FOIL, there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this. My best method that I would recommend for you guys to do um, is to use the box. That was my marker. Um, <laughs> when using the box method, the reason why I like the box method over FOIL is it just makes everything a lot more clear and non-cluttered, and therefore I'm, not, um, I'm less likely to make more mistakes. So on the box method, all I'm simply doing, I'm doing FOIL, I'm doing the first, the outer, the inner, and the last. But in the box method, all I simply do is I just write one by binomial on top and one binomial on the side. 3 minus 2i. 4 minus 7. And because when we talk about multiplication, multiplication is finding the area of a figure. Even though these looks like pretty weird areas that we're talking about, because we're talking about imaginary numbers, but that's what multiplication is. So what I do is now I just take each rectangle and I find the area. Remember, finding the area just be length times width. So I do 3 times 4, which is 12. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8i. 3 times negative 7i is a negative 21i. And then Negative seven, negative seven i times negative two i is going to be a positive fourteen i squared. Now you can simplify from in the box, but I'm going to write it out just to make sure nobody's making the same mistakes inside the boxes. Okay. Now remember, I told you guys fourteen um, i squared. Yes, you can move the i's in the cover. Remember, I told you guys um, think of these as polynomials. You can combine these middle terms. These both have i. So it's the same imaginary factor. So you can combine them, yes? 14 times okay. So I can combine these into 12. Negative 8 minus 21i is a negative 29i. And then I have 14i squared. Well, remember, 14i squared is 14 times i squared, which is a negative 1. You have to remember that i squared is negative 1. It gets a lot of students. A lot of students. So now I have negative 14 and I have a positive 12. So my final answer is negative 2 plus, I'm sorry, negative 2 minus 29i. And that's your final answer. Okay? Cool. Good stuff, I guess. Good talk. Right. Um, let's do one last problem.